THC, CBD, oil, vape, edibles, lotion, capsules, tinctures, even if you happen to be one of those people that used marijuana back in the 60s and 70s, you still might not be able to navigate your way through all these different products that are now available because of the fact, as we've heard time and time again today, it's not a one-size-fits-all type of a therapy. It's very customized to your needs and what your body will, res will, will, will respond to. And so you need to do a little experimentation. But to help you with that, we've got a guest from True Leaf. And uh, this is uh, Darnell Williams. He also goes by D. So from here on out, it's just D. He's not been uh, active in this cannabis community for as long as many of the other people that have been up here today, but his story has given him a very unique view. Um, in 2015, Darnell was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Within a matter of weeks, he was unable to even walk uh, to the restroom without stopping to take a break. Over the course of two years, she survived the implantation of an internal external heart pump and was able to finally receive a donor heart for transplantation. With no previous cannabis experience, Dee decided to turn to cannabis therapies to help with his failing physical therapy. And then uh, since then, uh, he's recovered, currently plans and executes educational events for True Leave, one of the uh, dispensaries, uh, the same company he purchased his first cannabis product from. Sharing the knowledge that he's gathered to help educate others on how cannabis can become a healthier alternative medicine for those who cho choose it. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming community educator from Truly D. Williams. <laughs> D, you are all good to go. Thank you kindly. Not quite yet. <laughs> well, we have a security warning. The federal government has seen the uh, pot plant on here, and uh, it won't let us open this. I've never seen the, uh, that one before. Try to, uh, maybe we'll try to do it again. Do you want to go ahead and just uh, sure. maybe uh, you know, say a few words to the audience here while we're trying to get this thing going? Love <laughs> Okay. Hello everyone, um, Darnell Williams and Go Bike D, if you, know, you ever see me out and about, uh, that's how you'll get my response. Um, I was asked to come uh, up here and just talk a little bit about uh, uh, what it's like after you get your card. Um, we've heard lots of great things about you know, the hemp industry, um, how cannabis can help, um, the law side of things, which is great to hear, um, and some good advice on uh, how not to get into trouble. Um, now that you know how to get your card, um, I need to show you how to use it. Uh, you'll come to uh, any of the MMTCs uh, that are available. There's currently 14 that uh, are licensed at the moment, um, 22 to be coming soon. Um, uh, some of them are here in this building. There's Cure Leaf here in the back and Sotera um, uh, over here as well. Uh, True Leaf um, is who I represent. We are all here to help. Um, you are in a unique um, are we good? Are they, you are good. They're not going to come get me, right? No, no, no. We, uh, we have put a force field around the Bridge Carlton, so you're good to go now. Excellent, excellent. Um, uh, they're all here to, uh, to help us provide products and a bright education, most importantly, to, uh, to patients all over the state. Um, uh, so this is uh, the title of my presentation uh, that I put together. Um, so I'm going to call it Can of Pharmacology. Um, it is a complete made up word, but if you hear it in the future, remember where you heard it. Um, uh, I think it is really the future of, uh, of, of cannabis in the U.S. Um, where uh, cannabis can be used as a pharmaceutical medicine, um, uh, all depending on research. Um, we've obviously seen that uh, Will Nelson could use it for so long, he's just fine. Uh, and uh, that we can all see benefits out of what is called a Schedule One uh, drug that has, quote unquote, no medical benefits. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is, uh, is the methods of administration that are available. Um, as you go into an MMTC, um, one of the first questions you are, uh, are given is, how do you want it? Um, uh, there's inhalation, uh, where you can utilize uh, uh, cannabis oil vaporizers, uh, vape cartridges filled with uh, fresh flour, uh, nasal uh, rescue sprays, and concentrate vaporizers. Um, these are all ways to get uh, cannabis into your body through an inhaled route. 
Um, a lot of people choose to use this route because it is the fastest route of administration. Um, it's going to be about 10 seconds to possibly uh, three minutes to be at peak. Um, that means your medicine works very, very fast. This is very helpful in, uh, in the, the case of anxiety, um, a lot of medications. Um, if you have anxiety, you have to basically pre-plan that you're going to get into a moment that's going to create anxiety and take your medicine uh, um, pro uh, proactively. Um, in this instance, if you walk into a situation where you are uh, caused to have a bit of anxiety or even trigger PTSD, um, you can use this inhalation route to quickly conquer the problem. Um, oral and sublingual routes are uh, another route of administration that you can utilize. Um, tinctures, um, oral syringes, concentrates, and capsules are the, uh, some of the most common. Um, there's also oral sprays. There's a uh, um, a meter dose inhalers on the market where it looks like an uncle to a, uh, um, an albuterol inhaler. Um, you can just uh, take a puff and it delivers exactly two milligrams of cannabis inhaled into your lungs and it can work quickly for you. Um, uh, topical is another great way to get uh, cannabis without receiving uh, psychoactivity. Um, it is something that you can apply locally and it will give you um, results uh, somewhere you know, where there's not a lot of tissue is preferred, where you can use it, say, on your hands um, to turn it on, tackle arthritis um, or uh, rheumatism. Uh, I, my next slide, I will hopefully, I put it in here correctly, um, it will show us a little video from uh, our medical director, um, Ken Romsmith. Um, so pharmaceuticals play a big role in my life as well. 
um, but they do create nausea. So instead of taking uh, another pharmaceutical to conquer that nausea, um, I chose to use cannabis. Banana Kush conquers my nausea immediately when vaporized. Um, I also use uh, a strain called um, dog walker to conquer, conquer neuropathy. Neuropathy is my huge problem. In my hands and feet, I feel like I'm either walking on nubs or my hands and feet are on fire. If I have cannabis and I have to use it in multiple different ways without being too psychoactive, I have to use it topically on my hands and feet. I have to inhale two milligrams and I have to ingest four milligrams. It took a long time for me to figure this all out, but now I can stop shit. One of the ways to find out um, exactly what um, is uh, in your cannabis medicines are sheets like this. Um, I really believe in lab testing. Um, I believe in third party lab testing. Um, uh, we don't get to touch it. We do our own testing. We know our product's good. We, um, they come, collect samples, and they test our product. And it'll tell you if there's any residual solvents, any residual heavy metals, pesticides, or mold. Um, they're not allowed in the products, so we can't get it to you. Um, I, I can definitely attest that sometimes we fail. If you fail those products, they don't make it to your shelf, um, which, is, which is really neat because in some situations, people will find a way to make it uh, viable um, and it's something that truly does not believe in. So they, we have thrown away crops just because you know, it didn't test properly. Um, uh, um, acceptable to some, but not for us. Um, each batch um, yeah, of all of our products will have a specific uh, label on it. It will have a number where you can look up your exact product that's in your hand. That's very key to being able to find out what exact terpene breakdowns and cannabinoid breakdowns are in each product. If you're searching for something particular, like say high amounts of CBG, that's going to help you if you have Crohn's disease. So you have, you have to look for those. You can't just expect, hey, this strain should have high amounts of CBG when it's a different batch every single time. It's a different grow. It was extracted by a different person. There's small nuances within cannabis that you have to pay very close attention to. Oh, this was another great video, guys. <laughs> Well, can you act it out for us? Yeah, it's so good. It's a drawing thing. It's really neat. Um, it's really good. I'm going to explain uh, the difference between THC, or delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, and uh, uh, delta-8 tetrahydrocannabinol. Um, they're very, very, very close um, where they, um, they do provide uh, um, psychoactivity, um, but delta-8 provides less, and it is a little more in tune um, with your body where it has a, a neuro, the neuroprotectant that uh, Josephine was talking about. Um, it comes primarily from this Delta A THC. Um, also, um, it is a wonderful cancer treatment uh, for nausea. It's extremely good at conquering nausea. We have uh, multiple um, Delta A products um, uh, on our line. Um, we have a Delta 8 and Delta 9 product. Um, uh, with the strain of Diablo, we have a one to one to one, which is Delta 8, Delta 9, and CBD um, in Blackberry Kush. And then um, a Delta 8 CBD, which is a truly just a, a great medicine um, uh, in Purple Punch. Uh, it's <laughs> um, the names, they do get me sometimes, but they are really, really good medicines. Um, and they've gone through some great studies, especially this Delta-8 um, CBD um, that can be administered to patients. Um, um, a study was done in Israel where it was administered to patients before uh, their chemotherapy treatments and they experienced zero nausea um, during their entire treatment session, um, which is something huge to be said. Um, people not being able to eat uh, during cancer treatment is Part of the reason why some of them don't make it. Um, being fed by an NG tube is not fun, I can tell you from experience, um, and I don't think anybody really deserves it. All right. Um, 
one other thing that uh, truly uh, has uh, released is nanotechnology. Um, uh, we're taking uh, science and nature and we're mashing them together to create new products um, to help these patients. Um, some patients need high, high doses of THC and CBD. With that comes concentration. Um, uh, that does make the products sometimes a little bit more expensive. But if we use technology like nanotechnology um, to be able to create a better product, we can give it to their, our patients to be able to use it. This nanotechnology uses sound to break up molecules to even smaller bits. Um, now these smaller bits can be used and they are water soluble. Um, uh, it being water soluble now makes your body easily to um, accept it. Um, if you ever have taken a vitamin and it says it is 2,000 milligrams of this vitamin, your body destroys a large percent of that before it gets into your bloodstream um, as it goes through your digestive system and passes through your liver. Um, so with this new technology, we can catch a bioavailability of about 90%. Um, uh, where we're looking at our oral products, probably about 30% is what um, your actual body is actually getting to use. That one works. <laughs> one more test. Uh, blood flow and circulation in patients. 
So you see that it has many, 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 many uses where you would say, hey, I would like to find something in high humulene for, uh, to improve my blood flow because I have high blood pressure. Um, where, in that same aspect, you can use this chemical or this terpene um, for weight loss or having a strain that has a little lower potential of giving you the munchies. Um, another thing that you have to take a look at is uh, THCV. Uh, THCV is actually a cannabinoid, um, a tetrahydrocannabivirin can um, that can be uh, used as a lot of the same um, ailments um, like anti cholesterol, anti diabetic, um, diabetes was just added um, as a qualifying condition, um, which makes it very accessible to a lot more people. Um, you would think that you would look for strains that uh, cause you not to eat, um, especially sweets, um, but uh, strains that are high in THCV will cause the opposite effect. Unlike THC, which is largely responsible for the munchies and uh, used by cancer patients and others to stimulate appetite, THC may actually dull hunger pains and help with weight loss by blocking the receptor that triggers the hunger hormone. So what it does is it actually um, uses the receptors in your body and it blocks the signal. The signal is not about stopping the signal. It's about blocking the receptor from receiving the same amount of, of, uh, of hormone is still being released. But if you block the receptor with THCV, that causes you not to feel the hunger. And it causes you to uh, actually lose the reward sense for that hunger, um, which is crazy because when it tried to be synthesized um, pharmaceutically, um, it ended up causing like suicidal tendencies because the reward system was completely dulled, right? So something natural that is meant to be in your body and act with your cannabinoids is, uh, is something that you really want to look for. Um, appetite suppression alone will help uh, with weight loss, but there is uh, more going on than just putting down the fork. Studies have shown that THCV may increase energy expenditure, which means burning more calories. Maybe that's why regular cannabis users are less likely to be obese in the general population. Um, I find this to be uh, usually true. Um, if you look at uh, typical quote unquote stoners, they're usually pretty slim. Um, uh, it's not because they're not eating properly, it's because they have these chemicals in their body and are in tune with the correct cannabinoids. Um, uh, so, all I want to do is show a couple more. Uh, places where you can find more information. Just like this, um, uh, Normal has a great site that has a lot of great information there. Um, uh, uh, Medical Marijuana Med Today is a great site. Um, I always want to uh, show attention to the way that marijuana is spelled on Med Today. Um, that is the traditional slang word that was brought over from Mexico. Um, I do encourage everyone um, uh, to refer to medical cannabis as cannabis. Um, uh, marijuana is a slang term. Um, and you will feel and sound much more intelligent if you use it by its true name. Um, two more good resources. Um, uh, obviously, the Department of Health um, website has all the information you'll need to get your card. Um, let's see, uh, well, Dr. Um, Rybach is here as well. Uh, Compassionate Care Clinics in the back. Um, they are physicians. They can get you your card. Um, I do recommend that you speak to them. Um, of course, julie.com has a list of all the doctors in the area. Um, if you are not close to here and you want to find one near you, uh, you can find that there. Also, you can find out more information about products that uh, we have. Um, these are our online functions. Um, I want to thank everyone for listening. I know it's been a long day and you get lunches in your belly. Um, uh, I uh, thank you all for being here and listening. Have a great day.